Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WooCommerce video series. In this video, I'm going to install a free advanced shipment tracking plugin. This plugin will help you add the shipment tracking feature in your WooCommerce website. The name of the plugin is Advanced Shipment Tracking Plugin. This plugin has free as well as the premium version. The premium version will cost you $129 per year. However, in this video, I'm going to install only the free version of this plugin. In previous videos, I have shown you how to install and use the free YITH WooCommerce order and shipment tracking plugin. This plugin also has free as well as premium version and the premium version will cost you $69.99. In this video, I have shown you how to use this plugin and what are the features of this plugin. In another video, I have shown you how to install the WooCommerce official shipment tracking plugin and this plugin will cost you around $59 per year. This plugin is available on WooCommerce official website. In this video, I have shown you how to install and use this plugin. All these shipment tracking plugins have different features. So you can watch these videos and compare the features of all these plugins and then decide which plugin will be suitable for your WooCommerce website. So let's see how we can install and use the advanced shipment tracking free plugin on the WooCommerce website. Do not forget to subscribe to Quick Tips YouTube channel. Watch new videos about website design, e-commerce websites, search engine optimization, social media marketing, WordPress tutorials, video editing tips and many more. Press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos. So here I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website and we are using WooCommerce on this website. So let's go to plugins and click on add new plugin. Here search for advanced shipment tracking. And this is the plugin advanced shipment tracking for WooCommerce. Click on install now. You can see that this plugin has been installed on more than 60,000 WordPress websites. Click on activate. All right, so the plugin is installed and it is activated. Let me refresh it. Now in the left hand panel under WooCommerce, you will see the option shipment tracking. Click on it. All right, so this is a setup wizard. I'm going to skip this one. All right, so we are on the dashboard of the plugin and these are the general settings. Click on general settings, add tracking order action. These are the actions for the tracking order. Order emails display partially shipped updated tracking. This option allows you to choose which order status email you would like to display the tracking information. So, so you can select the order status from the drop down list and on these order statuses, it will show the tracking information. You can also select processing. Next is order status and notification. Rename the completed order status label to shipped. So it is going to rename the completed status to shipped shipment tracking api so this is the api date format ddmmyyyy you can select your date format usage tracking i'm not going to make any changes here this is paypal tracking this is for the pro version all right now the next option is shipping carrier so we need to enable the shipping carrier and we will need to select the shipping carrier so click on enable carriers and from this list you can select your shipping carrier let's say i want this one dhl us DHL parcel, Canada post. Let's go to next option. You will see some carriers here or you can search for the carrier. I'm going to search for DTDC. This is one of the carriers in India. So I'm going to select this one. Or you can select the country. Let's say I want to select the carrier for Canada. So I'm going to enter Canada and you will see all the carriers from the Canada. If I go to India you will see the carriers from the India. So I'm going to select some of these. Let's say delivery, India post, then blue dart, shadow fax is there. So according to your country, you can select the carrier. All right, so these are the carriers for the United States. FedEx is there. So I'm going to add these carriers. So we have added some carriers there. Let's close it. All right, so these carriers are added. Next is CSV import. If you if you want to import any data, you can use the CSV import. Then we have integrations. All these apps can be integrated with this plugin or the tools that you can integrate. This is for the pro and this is the track ship, your post shipping and delivery autopilot. All right, so these are the basic settings. Now let's go to the orders. 
and let's see how does this work this is one of the orders i'm going to open one order here all right and here you will see add tracking info you can click on it and from the drop down you can select the carrier you can also select the date when it is shipped and mark order as completed you can mark it as completed you here you can add the tracking number and fulfill the order so this will be marked as order completed and it is going to add the tracking number in the order details so you will see this here now i'm going to make a purchase as a customer and let's see how does this look on the customer's end so i'm going to open this website in another browser all right and i have some products in the cart so let's go to checkout so i'm going to make a purchase here place the order i have already filled up the form it is going to make a purchase here all right so the order has been created this is the order number and we are on the customers dashboard if i go to my accounts and then go to orders you will see this is the new order if i go to view you will see the details of this order all right now let's go to admin dashboard let's go to orders again and this is the new order click on it all right so the order is open click on add tracking info and i'm going to select the carrier from here i'm going to deliver using the united states carrier so let's select this one and let's select the date you can select today's date then i'm going to uncheck this one and add the tracking number here i'm using some dummy number here click on fulfill order so when you ship the order you can get the tracking number from the carry company and you need to add that information manually into the order details all right let's click on update all right so we have added the tracking info now let's go back to customers account let's refresh it now here you will see the tracking information is added into the customers dashboard we are on the orders page let me go back to the orders let me show you this is the order that we have created you will see a track button here or you can go to view order details and on the order details also you will see the tracking information you will also see the logo of the company and the button to track the order so if i click on track your order it will go to that particular carrier's company and it will track that order number now coincidentally i entered some random tracking number here and it shows delivered so this is how it is going to add the tracking information on the orders detail page on the customer's dashboard so here we are using only the free version of this plugin. There are some limitations in the free version. You can compare the features of the free and the premium plugin. Here you will see the features listed for the free and the premium plugin. Add tracking per item is not available. Auto detect shipping provider fulfillment dashboard is not available in the free version. So if you want to add the tracking information manually, you can go with the free version. If you are looking for advanced features then you can go for premium plugin also so before buying the premium version of this plugin you can compare the feature of this plugin with yith woocommerce plugin as well as the woocommerce shipment tracking plugin you can watch these two videos and then decide which plugin will be suitable for your woocommerce website so this is how you can use the free advanced shipment tracking plugin in your woocommerce website so that's it for now see you in the next video do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comments section and press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching quick tips.